This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Although it's interesting how, if you think about it, if I reached out and did that to you, I could be arrested. I don't, I don't, uh, I, I would be arrested for reaching out, reaching out, wouldn't be arrested for reaching out and patting you on the shoulder? Well, I wouldn't do it anyway. <laughs> All right, thank you. Well, uh, people who work for elected institutions do seem to be more tolerant. I guess your sheriff is elected, so. Are you, are you on the board? Are you on the board? Do you work for the county? Question for you. Uh, should you w be working for an institution that is accused of illegally detaining 200 people just on suspicion of immigration violations? I, I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. Uh, your institution, the county, is accused of illegally detaining 200 people on immigration suspicion without charge. Should you be working for the same general institution? This is a wonderful organization. Thank you so much. All right, Tigger. Do you work for the county? Yeah. Uh, question for you. Uh, what, pos what position, if I might ask? Okay. What position, if I might ask? The director for Human Services. Should you be working for an institution that is accused of illegally detaining uh, over 200 people on immigration suspicion? I mean, I know it's a different part of the same institution, but it's the county. Well, should you be working, the county has illegally detained over 200 people, allegedly, over immigration. Should you be working for the same institution? If the county doesn't um, detain, or the Department of Human Services doesn't do that. But the county does, and the county's being sued for doing that. Thank you for your question. All right, take care. Are you on the board? Um, I am not. Okay. Oh, question for you. Sure. Uh, why is your institution illegally detaining over 200 people, or are accused of detaining over 200 people over a period of time, on Ill immigration suspicions? Actually, I have no idea what you're talking about, what you're referring to. So, if that's something that you would like to direct to the sheriff's office, PIO, I'm sure they'd be able to assist you. Well, then why are, why are you guys going into executive session today to discuss defending against this lawsuit um, on that issue? Right to discuss executive sessions with regard to litigation. But do you have a right to tell me that you don't have anything to do with this if you're discussing it today? No, we are going to be discussing the matter that's on the executive, that's the executive session. And it's no noticed concerning two litigation matters. And we have the opportunity to provide legal advice and to instruct negotiators. And that's what we will be discussing is actually one specific um, lawsuit that's, that has two related parts. Will you be helping defend the Sheriff's Department in any way? As an institution? The county attorney's office does defend all elected officials in government. Is it right for you to defend the sheriff's office for detaining people illegally? Shouldn't you let this go? Nobody is detaining people illegally. Well, uh, the ACLU says otherwise. Are you claiming that the ACLU has gotten a law wrong for the first time in recorded history? <laughs> I'm kind of guessing on that recorded history part, but I've never caught him in an error, and I sure do watch him. <sighs> Ethical errors, maybe, not legal. Do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? 
Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at lrn.fm to listen or broadcast their signal. lrn.fm Feds don't want you to hear them.